Sergeant Jeffords. That's right. It's me, Sergeant Jeffords, from the precinct. I'm the guy whose damn complaint you don't want to submit, and I can't think of one damn reason why. Everyone, this is Sergeant Jeffords. Hi. I'm sorry for interrupting your dinner party. No problem at all. This is important. Also, Kevin's friend Margo's here, and she's a real Class A drip. Sir, I can't get why you don't want me to file a complaint. I thought you, of all people, would support me. First of all, let me say, what that officer did to you was wrong, deeply wrong, and I'm furious about it. Okay. So why don't you back me up? Because that complaint could backfire. Cops who blow the whistle on other cops almost always face a backlash, just like people who socialize with Margo invariably hear about her trip to Scottsdale. You real worked up about Margo. Sorry. She's horrible. Listen, I don't want to see your career derailed because you were besmirched for reporting on another officer. But what he did was wrong. He should be besmirched. Yes, but is that besmirching worth the greater besmirching of your career? You have to balance besmirchings. There's politics to being a cop. But I wasn't harassed for being a cop. I was harassed as a black man. I'm not saying do nothing. I'm saying the most powerful action you can take is to rise through the ranks so that you can make large-scale changes. I've had to pick my battles, and it hasn't always been easy. But now I have my own precinct, a precinct whose officers would never do to you what Officer Maldak did. Terry, I know you're upset, but this is the right thing to do. You're this close to the city council position, and that's just the beginning. It would be a shame to jeopardize that. Look, I get that the guys in our precinct wouldn't profile me, but it still happened. Only one precinct over. Which is why you need to keep pushing forward in your career so that you can change the system. Terry, you're a great cop. You could become a chief or higher. How long will it take to make change that way? Maldak is on the street now. You know why I became a cop? Please share. Because when I was a kid, I always wanted to be a superhero. Stop it! Stop bothering little Terry! Or what? or I will defeat you. Whoa. I wanted to help people like that cop helped me. But right now, I don't feel like a superhero. I feel the opposite. When I got stopped the other day, I wasn't a cop. I wasn't a guy who lived in a neighborhood looking for his daughter's toy. I was a black man, a dangerous black man. That's all he could see, a threat. And I couldn't stop thinking about my daughters and their future and how years from now they could be walking down the street looking for their kids' moo and get stopped by a bad cop. And they probably won't get to play the police card to get out of trouble. I don't like that thought. And I'm going to do something about it. So I don't care if it might hurt my career. I'm filing that report. Even if I have to go over your head to do it. Hey, thanks for babysitting last night. The girls told me what you talked about, and it couldn't have been easy. I'm sorry I told them orgasms was another word for oranges. I panicked. Yeah, it did make it awkward when they asked for orgasm juice this morning, but I was more talking about the other stuff. Yeah, we didn't really know what to say. At one point, I'm pretty sure I sang all of En Vogue's Free Your Mind. Well, they had fun, and you made them feel safe. You did good. Oh, they made you a thank you card. Aww. <laughs> Pretty sure my nose isn't quite this big, especially with all the racial sensitivity talk, but I appreciate the effort. Sergeant Jeffords, a moment of your time, please. I came to a realization after you stormed out last night. I wouldn't say I stormed out. I shook hands with both you and Kevin before I left. And Kevin and I agreed that you squeezed significantly tighter than necessary. I guess I was a little worked up. With good reason. I thought a lot about our conversation. When I was a young police officer, and things like this would happen to me, I felt very alone. I wanted to call out every bad cop I encountered, and there were a lot. But as a black gay man, I never had a superior who was on my side. So the advice I offered you, that came from a different place, a different time. I put all my energy towards rising to a rank where I could make a difference. Well, I'm there now. And I realize that if I don't back you up on this, I would be betraying the very thing that I worked so hard for. So I filed the complaint. I appreciate that, Captain. Are you still upset? No, not at all. You should consider modifying your handshake. It's sending the wrong message. Copy that. <laughs>